लेसन नंबर एट द वैल्यू ऑफ फूड अर्जुन एंड वर्षा आर ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर दे लव टू ईट हॉट बाजरा बाकरीज विथ बटर मदर मेक्स अ नंबर ऑफ अदर डिशेस फॉर देम टू ईट विथ बाकरीज दे लाइक दोज टू कैन यू टेल वॉट कुड बी दोज डिशेस दैट मदर मेक्स टू गो विथ बाकरीज वॉट आर दोज डिशेस मेड फ्रॉम इन वर्षा एंड अर्जुन ओम दे यूज अ लॉट ऑफ other food stuffs too from where are they obtained wheat rice jowar pulses sugar cane karavanda jamun bor honey salt water fish and salt fresh water fish singadas water chestnuts makhanas lotus seed fruits and vegetables meat and eggs often when serving varsha and arjun a meal mother says take only as much as you want food shouldn't get wasted One day Arjun asked her mother why do you tell this to us every day mother answered why should we waste any good thing besides we must give a thought to how to get the food we eat let me tell you the story of a bakri the story of a bakri You know dada my father is a farmer and you know that schools have summer vacations when i was small we often went to my father's fields riding on his tractor that would be the time for riding the fields father would attach different implements to the tractor to carry out various farming tasks first he would plow the fields and then crush the lumps of soil finally he would level the field to make it ready for sowing the pre monsoon showers would make the hot soil humid that was the time father would sow bajra within some days the bajra seeds sprout and the seedlings are seen above the ground along with the bajra weeds also flourish but they have to be removed my father would employ laborers to do that the laborers have to be paid rain water is enough for bajra to grow vigorously after a while ears of bajra appear on every stalk the green forms and the ears grow fuller as the grains grow birds come in flocks to eat the tender grains then scrape crows have to be set up and sling shots used to frighten the birds away 
when the ears of corn are full it is harvest time that is all the ears of bajra must be cut and gathered then follows thrashing and winnowing that is how we get the grain from the ears of bajra varsha said i understood cutting and gathering but what is thrashing and winnowing so mother said all right do what i tell you and you will see we will continue with the story later try this take half of basket full of dried groundnut pods divide them into two portions shell the groundnuts in one portion how long did this take you now put the other portion in a cloth bag and tie its mouth pound the bag lightly with a stone or beat it with a stick now take the groundnuts out in a tray and tell me what do you see arjun many of the pods have burst open and the nuts have come out mother this can be called thrashing of the pods now all the tree in both your hands toss its contents quickly and lightly in the air tell me what happens varsha when i toss the tree the empty shells fall off and the nuts are left behind but why does that happen mother the shells are light so they get blown by the air and fall off the nuts are heavier and are left behind while winnowing too the droughts of air is used to separate the grain from the chaff now let's go on with the story dada uses a machine for thrashing and winnowing in the machine thrashing and winnowing are done at the same time the harvested ears are put into the machine the grain gets separated and falls into a bag tied to the machine the chaff and other rubbish gets blown off when there were no machines bullocks were made to help with the thrashing for winnowing a person stands a little higher up and slowly allows the thrash grain to fall to the ground the chaff is carried away by the drought and the grain falls down in a heap the machine helps to finish the work quickly but labor and expense have to be put in in any case do you know if a machine is not available bullocks do the thrashing a round space is cleared in the field 
and the threshing floor is prepared a post is erected at its center and a bullock is tied to it the bullock walks in circles around the post the harvested ears are spread in the round space so that they get trampled upon by the bullock if the crop is large in quantity a bigger place is prepared and more bullocks are used together thrashing may go on for several days for the bullocks too this is heavy work the grain obtained after winnowing is filled in sacks proper care is taken to make sure that it will not be attacked by insects or other pests such as mice and rats after putting aside some grain for the family the remaining sacks are sent to the market place to be sold when the traders there buy the grain the farmer gets money for the crop that he has grown arjun but the bakri is not ready yet mother no of course not and the story is not finished either listen the grain that the traders buy is sold all over the country it is transported by means of trucks or goods trains it is a turn up porters and truck drivers to put in their labor transport costs a lot too now the sacks of grain reach the provision stores people buy the grain from them they sort out any they sort out any stones or rubbish to clean the grain they get it milled into flour then while cooking the flour is kneaded into lumps the lumps are then flattened into a bakri and roasted we spend on fuel too and thus at the end of all these the bakri appears in varsha's and arjun's plate now would it be right to waste food that we get through the efforts of so many people do you know singadas and makhanas are some special foods that are not very common they are obtained from fresh water plants much work has to be done to collect clean dry store and transport them other food subs we get fish from water fishermen work hard to catch them there are people who gather and sell fruits like amla jamun karwanda bor which grow in forests some people have vegetable farms while some people have orchards for growing fruit crops some people keep poultry some rear animals for milk and meat 
all these people put in a lot of hard work in their own occupations we get a great variety of foodstuffs as a result of their efforts the efforts and labor of many other people are also required for storing transporting and marketing them as well as preparing the various dishes we eat all these processes are expensive therefore it is necessary for all of us to take care that food is not wasted what we have learned the food stuffs we use come from many different places such as fields lakes the seas and forests starting from preparing the fields till storing the grain in warehouses many different kinds of tasks are carried out for growing crops harvesting thrashing and winnowing are some of these tasks after that the crop is transported sold and prepared for eating only then do we get food on our plates as with growing grain much hard work goes into producing other food stuffs too we must all take care to ensure that food is not wasted always remember we get a variety of food stuffs through the efforts of many different people let us always be grateful to them